I could almost drown in it. Hi beautiful people, I'm Angel Gabriella Nichols and today we're going to be talking about my top five luxury Christmas wish list items. But first up, welcome to my channel where the love language is fashion, beauty and life, preferably with a little bit of luxury, hold the struggle. Like, comment, subscribe, let's share all of that good stuff. Are you ready? Let's go. So number one, um, and the first item on my um, Christmas wish list. I'm not doing this list in any particular order, except for this one is number one for me. And it's got to be the Christian Dior Lady Dior handbag. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's so exquisite, it's so beautiful and timeless. It can add a little extra to any outfit in anybody's wardrobe. I'm really liking, um, obviously, the classic black um, leather. And I'm thinking, where I was undecided was about which size to get. And I think I've landed on the mini. I just think it's such a cute size to go from like literally night and day. So I think it would look great when it's dressed up with like a classic, a classic black dress or, you know, going about my day-to-day -day life when I'm trying to pass off pajamas as actual clothing. And I think this would look great swung, like crossbody. It's just such a cute little bag. And of course, as we know, it's had the inspiration of this bag has been from Princess Diana. And it's e if it's even considered half as beautiful as she was, then, you know, you can't go wrong there. It comes in at um, £3,000 approximately for the mini. And I think the small is about about 3,800. So, you know, it is an investment piece. And for that, I'm looking for it, for something to be really classic and that I know is gonna stay in my wardrobe for a really long time. The other consideration for me was whether or not the champagne gold um, looked quite enticing, but actually the matte black also really took my eye. But to be honest, I'm unsure about how that's gonna stand the test of time, whether it gets nicked or scratched, like what that would look like. So I'm definitely going for the one with the silver hardware. In at number two is, it's a bit of drama to be honest. Um, I like being a bit dramatic, it's my Leo rising. It is the Burberry vinyl coat with the shearling. Have you seen it? It's exquisite. So they had this in the last runway show and I just think it's just so stunning and so eye-catching. It's definitely like don't with me type of coat to have on. It's you've got these like the shearling that just peeks over the shoulder, which looks beautiful. And then when you go when you like obviously turn to the back, you've got all the shearling down the back as well. And oh it's just it's just so lovely like the the depth of black in this coat with its like mirror like finish is just so encapsulating i could almost drown in it i absolutely love this coat it's coming in at five thousand five hundred pounds so you know it's not a it's not a small item to add into your wardrobe you want to have to love this um one so you know this is why it's on my it's made it to my christmas wish list because i could actually see myself wearing this a decade from now or late into my future in at number three is the Cartier love ring and specifically the one with the double band. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. You've got the white gold with diamonds and then yellow gold with a single diamond in. This comes in at about £6,000 and it is beautiful. This is, in my opinion, a seasonless piece of jewellery. You could wear it with any outfit across the year for any occasion, even if it's like a swimsuit to a ball gown, like this is gonna go. And the other thing I really love generally is I love mixing metals anyway. Like I love wearing gold and silver together. Um, and this really does achieve that. So what can I say? It's on my list. In at number four is the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi heels in the 105 millimeters, um, but specifically in black satin in a 37 and a half for anyone that's watching and feeling a bit generous. I absolutely love this shoe. It's iconic, it's classic, it's beautiful. You may remember it from Sex in the City. So we know Mr. Big, this is the proposal shoe. So it just, 
it just is iconic, right? In the blue satin specifically for Carrie, but I love it in the black because I just want like a kind of easy color that can go with anything. And I can see myself definitely collecting Hangisus for years to come. I already have um, the dark gold glitter version, which is absolutely beautiful, very eye-catching. But you know what? I don't really get an opportunity to wear them as much as I like. So for that reason, and I wear a lot of black anyway, black is the next one for me. In at number five, and this isn't a case of like leaving the best till last. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good though, pretty good. Um, this shoe is, another icon it's an icon of a moment actually and i think it's going to be an icon for a number of years to come i don't know if it's going to reach super classic but it's the one shoe that loads of people have been after and it's really hard to get hold of and if you haven't guessed it yet i am talking about the amina moadis that are beautiful have you seen them um, specifically, I'm really loving the clear one. It just looks like a glass slipper. It's a Cinderella shoe, isn't it? And it's got this stunning crystal um, motif at the front, which is just so beautiful. And it's just igniting for me. Lots of nostalgia from the 90s. Like when I see the shoe, I'm thinking Cher, Dion from Clueless. I'm thinking of Elle Woods. I'm just thinking, do you know what? that's gonna look great with a blazer and some leggings. That's what I'm thinking actually. And for that reason, I love this shoe in a 38. And with this shoe, you've got the, um, what do you call it? Like upside down, uh, you've got the up upside down kind of cocktail, cocktail, upside down cocktail, would you call it that? Upside down martini glass an upside down martini glass and i've never i've never i've not even tried this shoe on yet so i don't even know if it's going to look good on me but from what i've heard it actually adds some stability so it's a great shoe for a night out it's a great shoe for partying i could see myself wearing this in the summer like if it was in a bright maybe one of the bright satin colors in the summer with a pair of jeans this is a no-brainer shoe of the moment to be honest and it's one i would be happy to spend on that is the end of my christmas wish list those five items which i absolutely would love to have waiting for me on Christmas morning. I hope you enjoyed it, but I just wanted to say, obviously this year has been just really difficult for so many people for so many different reasons. So I'm just hoping you saw this as a bit of an escape and I'm absolutely wishing you the absolute best. You absolutely do deserve the best um, this year and next. Um, so just sending out lots of great energy and good energy for all of you people out there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.